Hello, welcome to Literary Life, and welcome to this video, which is a book review on the book Adelaide. My book reviews are spoiler free. Every book will get one to five stars. One star did not like the book. Uh, two stars eh, it was okay. Three stars, it was a great book. Four star, or it was a good book. Excuse me, I liked it. Would recommend it to some people. Four stars, it was a great book. I loved it. And then five stars are those books that just blow my mind, and I want you all to read it. If you saw my unboxing for Book of the Month Club, I had mentioned I really struggled and did not want to read this book. I And this is important <laughs> because I saved this book out of all the new releases for April. This was the last one I picked up. This book is going to be about a toxic relationship. And I just, I, I don't, I, I, I'm like, I don't know if I want to read about this. Um because it just sounded like the reviews, it was really well done. And I thought, this is just going to be hard emotionally. And there's just times in life when you're like, I can go there. And other times where you're like, no. And I was just feeling no. So I was really on the fence with this one. We're going to meet Adelaide, who is an American who has been living in London for a, a year or two, a, a few years. And she's got a group of friends and her career is evolving and going well. And she is going to meet a young man by the name of Rory. And they are going to have a passionate love affair. And she is going to think that she has met her soulmate. And the relationship is going to start off really strong. But there are going to be things to the relationship that are bothersome. He is not a good communicator. He's not always responsive. He isn't always good with making plans. Things tend to occur very last minute for him. But it's one of those things where when Rory finally does really engage with her, he he's just incredible. He's absolutely incredible. And she he's attentive and she feels well loved. And then I'm going to caveat that and say, well, maybe in the beginning and then as their relationship evolves, even that's going to start to wane a little bit because he is going to not be as emotionally caregiving, caretaking as a healthy relationship would be because this is not a healthy relationship. Rory is going to experience something that is incredibly uh, difficult. It is going to be a loss. And Adelaide is going to step in for him at that point in time and really nurture him through it. But in doing so, um, and I think given the nature of their relationship and then in focusing so intently in this really traumatic time um, on Rory and giving of herself and giving of herself. And Adelaide is just a very giving person anyway. And we're going to see that through the relationship she's had in the past and through the friendships she's had she is going to run herself to empty and then beyond. And that is going to lead to her essentially having a mental health crisis. Everything in this book, everything was just so well done. The characters are absolutely beautiful people. We are going to get a little bit into Rory's mindset, which I thought was brilliant. Um, you could actually understand him more, even though I didn't, you don't necessarily agree because his way of relating with Adelaide and with other people is unhealthy. It's not a good relational skill um, that he uses a lot of the time. Um, but you at least get a, a lens into what is what is it like to be a person that makes these choices, that d does these things. And I thought that made it so realistic and so brilliant we're going to meet a cast of Adelaide's friends. Absolutely love these people. It was just a great group of characters. I mean, it's the kind of people that I was like, I would want to go out to dinner. I'd want to go out for it. Well, if I were younger, I'd because they are younger. They're like tw late 20s, early 30s, I would say is the age, age range of the characters. But back at that time, this was a group of people I would have enjoyed hanging out with. It's such a fun creative, um, just a great group and well-constructed. And I absolutely love that about them. Um, we are going to hear a little bit about Adelaide's background, both her family background and her prior romantic relationships that have really impacted who she is today. So again, the author did such a great job of thinking like, what impacts our mental health? What are all those components and how do they continue to contribute over time to get somebody to the point where they can find themselves, anyone can find themselves in a mental health crisis 
um, if the right experiences and series of events evolves. Five stars, guys. I'm going to tell you, I love this book so much. I I think I'm going to read it again. And I, I think I want to see if I can get my daughter to read it. I have a 22-year-old daughter. And there's been a few books where I'm like, this is such a huge, huge, well-done, well-crafted story with so many good life lessons in it. I'm going to read you guys some of my favorite quotes from the book I, that I just thought were so insightful and that just really spoke to me. And one was that she's speaking of her heart breaking over the years. You know, we all have these experiences. Um, well, once, you know, once you're, you've lived long enough, you're going to, you, you've had multiple heartbreaks and some of them are smaller and less impactful than others, but she's speaking about that. And the author writes, the pieces were getting smaller, less recognizable, more difficult to reconnect with each blow. And I thought about that, like that, the importance of, you know, some of us are fortunate enough to only have a handful of breaks that occur, a heartbreak. And they may not be as catastrophic, but when you have them occurring over and over and over and over again, I, it makes sense, like such a good way to illustrate that, that the pieces keep getting smaller because they keep breaking and breaking and re-breaking and that it becomes harder to put yourself back together. So I thought that was absolutely brilliant. The other thing I love is that was um, hopeful toward the end of the book, she writes, sometimes things need to fall apart before they can come together in their rightful place. And that was one I just thought, you know, having now lived a series of d decades, we'll, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. I think that is wisdom. I think that is such a good point because that it, that's just the truth. It just is true. So absolutely, guys, I for a person that was like, I really don't want to read this book, really don't want to read this book. I keep hearing about it, though. I keep hearing how great it is. Fine, I'm going to pick it up, but I'm going to leave it for the very last book I read for my April new releases. <laughs> and then I absolutely loved it. Brilliant five star read. Highly recommend Adelaide. So I won't be selling this one quite yet because, like I said, I think I'm going to give this another read. Um, and I want to see if I can convince my daughter to read it. <laughs> um, but other than that, I'll have links below if you're interested in purchasing a new copy. Let me know if you've also read this book and what you thought. And as always, guys, thank you for being a part of my literary life. Let's go read some more books. Happy reading.